Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another great video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be telling you guys our power play strategy for the season. So what we have is we have our main and mini account. I've been secretly working on the mini a tiny bit, getting a couple star powers. I think I have three or four at this point and I'm going to be doing power play on both my main and my mini. So for my main, obviously I'm going to sweat. I'm going to go as hard as I can. Last season I ranked 94th and i was a little bit higher um i was like top 15 in the world at one point but they reset two of the days and gave everyone the same score which are the two days i did really really well in so that's super unfortunate um obviously they had to include the days in which you know i did poorly and i only really did poorly in the duo showdown if i didn't do poorly in that i think i actually would have been like top 10 this season but anyways, it doesn't matter. It's a new season. So what we're going to do is show you guys the three games that we did on the main account. We're going to spectate them. And then what we're going to do is hop into the onto the mini. And the challenge this season is to see how many points I can get with randoms only. There's going to be no planning, no teams, just playing with randoms with the three, four star powers we have. And we're going to see what we can make happen. So with that being said, let's hop into the replay games and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so this is right after my Rosa grind um, when I was trying to get it as high as I can. I was playing with Jared's um, Daryl, who which now is the world record Daryl, and with Killer's Poco. So I decided to go Gene. Um, it's a pretty easy game at the start, so what I decided to do was kind of just run out and just do damage try and get my super i'm able to pick up my super there obviously we need the epic victory so we need to win the game before 15 gems spawn that's the most important thing we're willing to throw the game for that at this point so jared's gonna be able to pick up a kill there we're doing really 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 well in the middle pam is a little bit of a counter to gene it's a, i wouldn't call it like a hard counter or anything but it does pretty good against gene so i'm going to go down over there jared's going to become our new gem collector which obviously you don't want to see bulls your gem carrier but it's whatever we're going to move up right over here and just take out this turret really quickly because it's giving them way too much value with all three of them hovering around the middle you're going to see killer run into the middle he's going to be able to pick up a kill that uh mort is going to try and do some work but he's beside two tanks so nothing's going to happen from that jared's going to pick up some gems i have two i'm going to pick up a third and there we go 10 to nothing so so it's looking pretty good. We're going to move back. Jared's going to be able to pick up that kill. Um, I got the pull. We're trying to take out this Pam. I move back. Pam's almost down. I go for the pull. Not able to get it. All there is is a Mortis. Jared's just going to protect me though. Mortis is not dashing through Jared at all. We're able to pick up the win. And that is going to be our first 33 points. We got the epic win because only 13 gems spawned that game. Let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened. Okay, so we decided to stay with the same with the same comp. Again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this comp if you get if this map comes out again. Um, it's not a bad comp whatsoever, but it can definitely be countered. We were just pretty confident that we we're going to be able to win with it since it was the first day. So I'm just going to go down. I just kind of walked up and started auto aiming since I knew midway through the game if they had any gems, I'd just be able to pull them. So we got killer over here. This Rico becomes one shot um i miss him over there killer's gonna go down and i'm able to take out the rico over there just a little chip shot jared's gonna go in he's gonna do some damage and he's gonna back out uh he does go down over there i'm gonna move up gonna be able to take out that pam pick up some gems so we have all the gems currently on the map things are looking pretty good just gonna walk up get a little double auto aim over there on that barley move back pull the pam towards myself and jared able to get that kill on the right side you guys can see killer is doing a fantastic job winning his lane i get my super right back from that barley doing a great job jump collecting in the mid i'm gonna back up almost go down there but we're able to pick up that kill gotta stay back because barley is lobbing shots gonna just double tap him twice we have all the nine gems that are on the map right now unfortunately though i am gonna have to move back but what i'm gonna do is just move forward pull that pam killer's gonna get the kill he's gonna go up we're gonna be able to pick up that kill and there's 11 gems spawn right now um a 12th one's gonna spawn and a 13th is going to spawn but as long as we win before that 15 we're fine so we're chilling i missed my pull over there just trying to pull a little bit towards the end three seconds left two one and that is going to end the second game so that's going to give us 66 points played it really well top so into the next game and show you guys what happened okay so into the last game on the main account and it's going to be Mike, Crow, and Primo. So I'm really happy that the maps have changed because I feel like people are just getting really used to those maps. And power play is apparently supposed to be a skilled mode, so we definitely don't want that. Um, so I'm going to miss the Crow a fair amount here, but Killer's still able to pick up the kill. Uh, I'm going to move forward and try my best to take out this Mike. I'm going to be able to do so. Killer's calling that there's a Crow over here. So I get jumped on by a Crow and a Primo, and I mean... That was, that was just a no. I did not like that. So Crow's over there lurking on that left side. Killer and Jared are kind of like panicking a little bit. <laughs> They're kind of just like... Um, 
like yo we need to pull that crow we need to do it now blah blah i'm just like okay don't worry we got time um the bull has two or the primo i'm sorry has two jerry's doing a good job winning lane this crow pops out on the left i knew they were just gonna make some mistakes so i didn't have to go to them i was just gonna let them come to me crow's gonna jump on me with four gonna be able to get that easy kill no problems and at this point we're doing good all we need to do is take out this primo which we all knew a primo with gems in gem is bound to eventually make a mistake primo is going to jump while he's two shot to me i'm just going to auto aim him twice we're going to have 10 gems and that is going to give us countdowns so we're going to back up we're going to stay in here which is very toxic mike doesn't know it he's going to walk in get that easy pull on him hit those shots nine seconds left killer's going to go for the roll for no reason which actually could have costed us the epic win so i don't know about that one killer but anyways, we're going to pull that primo, get the pull, and that is going to be it for my main account games. What we're going to do now is we're going to hop on the mini, and we're going to see if we can at least win all of the games on the mini. I'm not really expecting epic wins, but let's hop into it, and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. We are on the mini, so let's show you guys what we have. I think I checked out the shop. So the star powers that we have, let's do it by... Is it by level? Okay, so we have four star powers. We have BB, Shelly... We have two Shelly's, BB, Nita, and Brock. We need two more power. I mean, we're pretty close on a few of them, waiting on Pocos. Some pretty high-leveled guys. So what we're going to do is, here we go. We're going to click this. The map is Undermine. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Shelly, I think. So here we go. Let's hop into the games. This is going to be super, super interesting. I have no clue what's going to happen. Let's check it out. So we're going to be facing Shelly, Bo, and Tara. We have a Pam and a Piper on our team, so that's not that bad. Okay, our Pam looks like it came into the game a little bit late, so it might have some issues connecting. Going to get a double auto-aim over there. Going to be able to pick up that kill. Going to auto-aim that Bo, get that one as well. So we're doing pretty good to start off this game. Kind of just chilling on this right side. Going to go for a little bit but poke over there we're going to be able to pick up the kill over there on that opposing shelly this bow is looking a little bit confused right now gonna poke it a little bit we might go down but we want to save our super here i kind of want to be able to kill that uh tara so the piper is just not going to move from this bush apparently oh she moved up but there is a shelly to the left which is really scary we have six gems so it's looking pretty good gonna stun this bow over here make our way towards it get two shots off gonna be able to pick up that kill but oh, it's not looking good over here actually for our teammates let's pick up that kill is there anyone behind us i do not know currently we got seven or sorry we have eight pull over there by the tara not able to get a kill gonna get that stun oh we're gonna go down i think that should be fine though just hit that shot piper okay piper hits the shot seven to two right now eight to two i don't think no we don't have time for that epic victory unfortunately i think let's take that guy out over there don't go too far up don't go too far up jump why aren't you jumping you have your jump i'm so confused just pick up a gem please we just want the win at this point there we go piper picks up a 10th um 15 uh, 15 gems are going to spawn this game unfortunately so we're not going to get the epic win but that's fine yep there's 15 right there I don't know why that piper is still going up. It's actually scaring me right now. Two, one, and that is going to end the game. So we're going to get 30 points from that one. Not very bad. Um, I think let's change up the brawlers. Let's do a new one every game. So let's hop into the next game and let's see what we can do. Okay, so we're going to go with rocket number four for this game. I feel like I can act more of like a mid and gem carrier and we can definitely hold down some more control if I'm using Brock rather than just like an auto aim Shelly. So it's definitely going to be harder to win a lane, but we'll try and figure that one out. Let's get that auto aim on. We're going to be able to pick up that kill. Going to just break their walls over here. Don't really care about hitting the Jesse. Is this the same Pam as we had last time? I'm not sure. Getting some taps over here on the Poco. Doing a fairly good job. Going to hit that last final shot. So we're doing pretty good. I believe there's two alive in the left bush. But I'm not sure. We're able to get one tap. Let's just break these walls over here. Going to just auto aim away. Pick up that kill. Something's behind us. That is never good. That is never good at all. There it is. Sneaking onto our player. And that's going to be a kill. Going to use our Brock super. That's going to be a lot of damage over there. Get that double auto aim going. 
there is going to be a team wipe please let me get all the gems we're not going to be able to do so but we have 10 we do have countdown so things are looking really really good i'm going to back up and hide right over here going to use our super not going to be able to take anybody out we're able to take one out over there going to get the jesse and the jesse turret going to take that out and that is going to end the second game so we do get the epic win for this one brock definitely was the play but we said that we we're going to do a new brawler every time so let's hop into the third game and i think we're going to go with nita for this game let's hop into it and let's see what happens okay so here we go into the final game and okay i think this is a pretty good comp to face as anita to be honest we don't have a gem carrier though, so I guess I'm going to be the gem carrier. Okay, so let's get that. Poco mid against Anita. That's going to be tough. We're going to be taken out over there. Leon's going to get hit by that Jesse shot. But it should be fine. It's Our comp is definitely more of like work up your super, get your super, then push them back. So we'll see what happens here. I'm one shot till super. Okay, we get it. I'm gonna put that bear down. Shelly's gonna auto him the bear. Oh, I hit three people with that, so it's actually pretty good value over there. But we do definitely need to make a push now. So what I'm gonna do instead of going through the mid is go up a lane, and this is gonna allow me kind of just like to charge my super and do whatever. So there we go. We're gonna get a couple hits over here. Gonna drop this bear over here and start making my way down. Really good play over there by the uh, by the primo. So we got to be able to kill that Shelly if we want the epic win, and we're going to need to be able to do it soon. So what I'm going to do is sneak up from behind. Going to try and get a hit. There we go. We got one. I'm going to put my bear down. The bear is going to go for the Shelly. It's going to be able to pick up the kill. We're going to get the gems that we need to get countdown, and it's going to be 11 to nothing right now. So as long as there's no like hiccups or drops of gems we're going to be fine just to ensure this i'm gonna move up a little bit because i don't trust my teammates so might as well just take out the other players but we're gonna be able to get that epic win and that's gonna be 96 total um trophies so that's not bad um we could have gotten 99 obviously if we played with people that we knew but this is fine this is the challenge for the season so this is gonna place us I mean, my local is Haiti for some reason, so we're not going to be ranked. Oh, yet to, to be ranked, you need to have 99. My account might be somewhere over here because Ty is based on trophies. But anyways, first day doesn't mean anything when it comes to leaderboards. It's all about those solo modes, the duo modes, and just pure consistency throughout the season. So anyways, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm very happy to have this kind of new-ish series on my season. I hope you guys enjoy it. But with that being said, that's going to be it for today. I will catch you guys later. Peace.